So the Azeroth at War server just announced this morning as I woke up that they're going to be selling beta places and people are already getting their panties in a knot. So I want to dedicate this video into talking about why donations or some things being paid to a private server is not really that bad of a thing. I mean, it can be at times, but in general, it's not. And in fact, it's required if you want to have a good experience. Okay, look, there are points in time where servers have gotten money grubby, uh, what's another word for it, just greedy and all this other stuff. So some servers, they have shops. Turtle Wow has a shop. Uh, I think other servers, they all have shops that you could buy skins and stuff. Now, I'm completely against, against, pay to win. Paying for tier 3 armor, paying for uh, repair bots. Like, Turtle Wow does have some of those things like repair bots, mobile banking, mobile mailbox. I think that's completely bullshit. But just the skins for your character, the... Uh, transformative items i don't really care about those those are whatever right they're cosmetic now that being said is it bad for a server to do this in the first place no it's not again there is a line to be drawn but let me show you something real quick so i'm going to switch over to this this now this is for a conan exiles server who knows what the prices are for World of Warcraft servers, but it doesn't matter. This is just going to give you an idea of why it's acceptable to, you know, make money as a uh, private server. So, in order to host the server, you need money to pay the host. This right here is G Portal. Not the best, you know, not the best example because G Portal is kind of eh. But, again, just an example. So, right here. For 30 days, that's one month of hosting, if I'm just going to host it in the United States, for 10 people, so only 10 people can play on it at a time, is 14 after taxes, $15, right? World of Warcraft, you can't really play it with just 10 people. You know what, here, let's, let's go to 50 people. How about we go to 50 people? Okay, now we're at $40. Let's go to, let's go to 200 people. Oh, now we're at $118. You know what? Uh, pro uh, not Project Epoch. What's that other one? Dusk Haven just reached about a thousand people. So let's bump it up to a thousand. Five hundred and fifty dollars a month. Imagine Turtle Wow, who now just as of last night that I heard hit seven thousand people. So, yeah, seven thousand. And this right here, the 550 is at a thousand. Again, this is G Portal for Conan Exiles. The prices for a World of Warcraft server from a different host will vary, but it, it's just giving you an idea of how much it is per month to host a server. So, yes, donations are absolutely needed and welcomed, in my opinion, in order to host a competent server, unless you just want a 60-player uh, server so it runs stable and stuff, and so it's cheaper, so they don't need to, you know, they can just pay it out of their pocket, they don't need donations, right? Paying for the beta spots is okay for Azeroth at War because they're all, this, first of all, it's the closed beta. Not everyone is getting in, anyway. And 200 people are being chosen for free on top of the 20 that were already chosen and content creators, of course. So, we're already having 200 free people. And then, an additional paid spots for the people who don't want to try their luck at the lottery, they just want to get in. And again, this is for closed beta. And the money has already been stated several times. Now, I'm sure he will show proof of receipts and stuff, but all the money collected from this is going to go toward a better machine for hosting or just for paying the monthly host to begin with. And that's just for Azeroth at War. Turtle Wow, they sell a bunch of stuff in the store. Now, again, I don't agree with the mobile bank and the mobile repair bot, but the cosmetic mounts or whatever and the cosmetic bullshit, it's fine. Who cares? 
I paid five bucks for a freaking Noel costume. Or twelve, I don't remember how much I paid for it. It doesn't really matter. But still. Servers need to, at some point, you know, allow for donations. Allow for a way to monetize. Because they're not charging you monthly to play the game. It's just like any other free-to-play game. They have some way of monetizing, whether it's from a bunch of shitty ads to a bunch of paid stuff in the store. Again, there's a line to be drawn, but still. So, this is just kind of like a video showing you why it's necessary for private servers to make money with moderation. You know what I mean? There's got to be a way, and I'm completely... I, I like the transparency when it comes to this kind of stuff, and several of these servers are very transparent. They say, look, we need the money in order to pay the server host. That's all this is being used for. And I know why, pe I know why people are just hesitant about this because of issues we had with private servers before Classic WoW, right? What was it, like Elysium or... Uh, yeah, I think it was like Elysium and Light Soap. They were selling gold on the side that again is a big no-no it's pay to win and they were being behind doors about it and they were being scummy about it and again i understand completely why people are hesitant but just this is not that big of an issue i know people are having issues with it but really there's nothing it's not a big deal so, anyway, I'm, I've gone on for too long as is. I just wanted to make a quick point, and I'm going to end this video. Uh, I just woke up, so I'm really tired. So, I'll uh, see you next time on the next video. By the way, stay tuned for this weekend and next week if you're interested in Azeroth at War. Big thing coming. And then, even then, Project Epoch, the week after, after the open beta too, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, I'll see you later.